<laughs> well, um, I'm, I just, I'm going to do an experiment. I want to see where I'm at at the end of the semester and then the end of summer. New Year's resolution. New Year's resolution. See if I get to that Gracie, uh, that Gracie uh, body. <laughs> see if I, <laughs> you ever see these guys like, man, it's like taking a tree down. Can't even, can't do it. Okay, all right, who cares? Nobody cares. Let's go through an example of computing the center of data called the mean. Well, let's gather some data. I think this is why I started to think of uh, some of these things. Uh, let's ask you um, this question. How much sleep did you get last night? How many hours? Let's, let's gather some data. Seven hours. Seven. Five hours. Six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more. Seven, and then eight. Okay, we'll leave it at that, okay? <coughs> okay, we'll leave it there. So I just gathered data, is that right? Again, I took a convenient sample. I'm going to compute the center of this data. I'm going to compute the what? The mean. Sample mean is going to be, what do I do with this data? I add all these values. You guys are going to have to help me. What happens when you add them? All right. You guys are going to make me do this? 14, 5 is 19, 25, 31, 36, 42, 49. 49 plus 8 is what? Is that 57 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? What do you guys get? Approximate this answer to the nearest tenths position. 6 point what? 6 point 3. So the mean number of hours for this sample is 6.3 hours. OK? 6.3 hours. Is that easy? OK, good. What about the next one? The median. You guys know what the median is? This is also known as the, by definition, it's the, the middle value. <laughs> That's kind of vague. You know, the word middle, it's kind of vague. Well, let's clarify that concept of middle. What we mean by middle is this. You're going to go through this procedure. You're going to sort your data. What does it mean to sort data? Reorganize your data. You sort your data from smallest to what? To largest. So we're going to sort our data. Where is our data at? Over here. Reorganize your data. Smallest to largest. What's the smallest data value? How many fives do we have? Two fives, right? And then you have three sixes. And then you have what? Three sevens. And then you have what? One eight. OK, we're going to find the middle value. And this is how we find it. Sort your data from smallest to largest. And then do what, what I call cancel the smallest dash Largest pairs. In other words, smallest is 5. What's the largest? 8. Is that right? OK. And now we repeat the process. Smallest is 5. The largest is what? 7 now. You guys OK with that? Smallest is 6, the largest is 7. Smallest is 6, the largest is 7. What do you guys have left? This is your what? This is the median value. This is the middle va value. Okay. 
Now let's note here, something special happens though. If this was an odd number of data, guaranteeing that when you do this cancellation, largest, smallest, guaranteeing that you're going to be left with one value standing. Is that right? What happens if there's an even number of data? What if our data look like this? 4, 0, 3, 0, 2, 6. Let's say um, 3 and 5. What if that was our data? Notice, how much data do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. An even number of data values. Where here, you had an odd number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Guaranteeing you have a middle value. So if I go through the process now, sort these values. 0, 0, 2, 3, 3. 0, 0, 2, 3, 3. And then a what? 4, 5, and 6. This is sorting from smallest to largest. If I go do the cancellation now, what happens? 0, 6, 0, 5, 2, 4. And you're left with what? Two numbers. 3 and 3. Ah, not a very good example. But OK, we can still talk about it. Could you guys tell me what's, what's in the middle? Or how about this? We have two 3's here. I guess we can conclude that the median is what? Three. Is that true? Why do we conclude that? Is it because they're the same value? Well, sort of, but what if there were different numbers? What if you went through something like this? You had, okay, two, one, two, three. What if it was? Something like that. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six values? Okay, let's see. Sort them. One, one, two, two, three, nine. Oh, it happened again. Darn it. <laughs> That's weird. Um, let's say a four and a five. Okay? See, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. Oh, and the nine. Don't forget the nine. Let's see what happens again. Let's cross our fingers. Smallest, largest pairs. We're going to cancel. Ah, notice this. In this situation, you said, oh, three, because two threes are left standing, and you go, ah, has to be three. Good guess. It's a very good guess. But in this situation, notice, what if they're different numbers? How do you determine the middle value? Well, in some sense, you say, well, there's two middle values, two and three. But this is what you do, and this is how you think about it. Can you guys answer this question? What number is midway between two and three? Remember that mid midway stuff? Remember that midway? 